In this video, I want to give you a lesson on how I prepare and finish metal, especially metal that's going to be outside. And as part of this, I want to introduce you to a new kind of spray paint. I'm a big fan of spray paint for this sort of work. Um, and of course, spray paint usually comes in cans like this, small cans that are great for small projects. But this uh, Ultimate Turbo product from Rust-Oleum, same kind of heavy duty rust paint that we're used to from that company, but in a much larger can with a much different spray nozzle, as you can see. Uh, regular spray paint, then the fan spray nozzle. So bottom line is this covers a lot more ground, a lot more quickly, and it, it fills in the gap, quite a considerable gap too, between what you'd, what would be practical to finish with a spray can and what you might need some heavy duty spray equipment for. So it, uh, it solves a real, real need. I've been waiting for bigger, heavier duty, higher mileage cans of spray paint for some time. So I'm kind of interested in how this works. I'm going to show you, we're going to, we're going to finish this piece of quarter inch thick plate steel right now. So the video isn't just about the paint though. It's about the whole preparation process. Uh, now this is a pretty, pretty nice piece of metal. Uh, it hasn't been outside too long. There's a little bit of rust here. It's, it's kind of rough. Uh, there's a little bit of roughness on the side. So this is not unusual. And this is why the first operation I like to apply to metal that I'm refinishing is some sanding. And you don't need anything fancy for this. This is a five inch random orbit sander. It's a woodworking tool. I've got an 80 grit disc on here and I'm just going to go over the surface mostly to smoothen it. This will not be the only preparation step you see me do, but it's a great place to start because you know, you'll never get a nice painted finish unless you have a very smooth surface. And this wouldn't be bad, but there are some rough spots that I just want to get rid of. It won't take long. We don't need to go right back to shiny metal either. Just a simple smoothening is all that's required at this stage. That doesn't look much different, but I can tell you it feels a lot different. It's nice and smooth. It's a great surface for taking paint. But before I do that, before I apply any paint, I want to make absolutely sure that there's no oil residue. Any kind of oil or grease is bad news for a paint job because it's going to interfere, interfere with adhesion. And we want to do everything we can to make that paint stick. So. I'm going to be degreasing. Uh, I like to use this stuff called crud cutter. Uh, it can be used on some very cruddy things indeed, including caked on grease and grime and things. There's not a lot going on here, certainly nothing that we can see, but it's still worth taking the extra step to make sure everything's degreased because it's such a quick step. It's not difficult to do at all. You just get this stuff on any way you can. Let it sit there for a few minutes and then we're going to wash it with some clear water, scrub it, and then let it dry completely. Then we will be ready for some spray paint and it will have every advantage as far as lasting goes. So I'm just going to rinse off the crud cutter. There wasn't a lot of crud to cut here, but as I said before, it's cheap insurance because oil and grease are the enemies. So we'll just flood this off, let it dry completely because a wet surface is just as bad as an oily surface for interfering with paint. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how wide 
of a spray fan that new spray paint offers. The, the, the spray, instead of coming out of a pinhole, like in a regular spray can, it's coming out of a fan-shaped opening, as you'll see. And that fan is about 10 inches wide. So it's like painting with a 10 inch wide brush. I mean, you can really lay down a lot of paint. You can cover a large area, uh, much, much larger than this, but you know, we're going for this size so you can see what's going on and see how it works. And I'll compare that to a regular spray can so you can make up your own mind, make sure, see if it makes sense for you. So the quarter inch plate steel is all dry. It's been sanded, it's been degreased. I'm ready to spray paint it with this thing. It's not gonna take very long because the spray pattern is so wide. And I just kind of want to compare that for you. So here's a can of regular spray paint, just a regular hole in the end. Holding it, what, about six or seven inches away. And that's the size that you get. Pretty typical. So just compare it. About the same distance away and... See, it's much more like a brush than a, than a point, point application. So we can uh, make some room here and get some paint on this steel. Done. Nice and even too. There's a lot less chance of marks caused by going back and forth with a small spray stream. Uh, you can see this would cover a very large area. Um, I've had excellent results with Rust-Oleum paint in terms of rust resistance. It is the best exterior rust paint that I've ever seen and I've tried lots of different brands. Um, this is an enamel, it's an alkyd, it's heavy duty and uh, it certainly goes on fast, as you can see.